Hi, it's Beth from the Somerset County Library, and today I want to show you some things that you can access through our catalog. So let's take a look at our webpage here. If you go to somersetcolibrary.org, and of course you'll see, have access to all these different online resources. But what I want to show you today is our catalog. So if you go to Books and More and then click on Catalog, that will open up our library's catalog. And we have added a whole bunch of different links here at the top. So you have links to our online resources, Cloud Library, Cloud Library Newsstand, CSB2, Tutor.com, Learning Express Library, Novelist, Novelist K through 8. These are two new things I'm going to talk about. A link to our Facebook page and our kids only catalog. And to start with, I want to talk about something called carousels. Now, if you look Go into our catalog and you scroll down on this page, you'll see we have some new item carousels here. So these are the items that have been recently added to our collection. These can be brand new items or they can be things that have been donated to us that we've just recently added to our collection. And you can just scroll through and I do, we do have a limit of how many items that we have on the carousel, but it will give you an idea of the things that have been added most recently. And you can see recently we've received a donation from a patron of Joe Nesbo and Penny Louise novels, which we have added to our collection. Some, new, some Charles Todd books that have been donated to us. And of course, some brand new items that have been added to our collection. And we also have new DVDs that have been added to our collection. A lot of these have been things that have been donated to us that we decided to add to the collection. So that's one thing that you will find in our catalog. Another thing that you will notice in our catalog is if you log into your account and to do that, you just click on my account and you will have to enter in your library number or your, your library card number and your PIN number. Now, if you don't remember your PIN number, you can call the library. We can reset the PIN number for you. And once you get into your account, you will be able to update your PIN number or your password. And I am logged in here already. Go into my account here. And when I'm in my account, Go to Profile, that's where you can update any information that you need on your profile. So in this account, I have myself named as Ms. Beth, SCL. So if you want to follow me through your Chewy Pack account, you can do so. You just search for Ms. Beth, SCL. And occasionally I like to share book lists with our patrons of things that might be going on that we might be promoting during the month. So this month I am starting a book list for New Year's resolutions. And to that, you can see I've added a few books, Qigong, Backache, 
meditation, don't count yourself out, staying fit after 35. And so forth. And this is one of the cool things about the chili pack is not only can you search our catalog, but as you search the catalog, say you are a fan of a particular author. Um, Stuart Woods, I know, has a lot of books in our catalog. So you can search, you can choose by keyword, title, subject, author. Search. And when the list of results comes up, you'll notice that the books now have a review on them. This is part of the Chili Pack system. Uh, the patrons are able to leave a review. We can look through and see what other people have, how other people have rated the book that you're looking at. So say you uh, find a book that you're interested in, you can add it to a book list. And I have one that's set up as Beth's to be read list. So I can do that, and it will tell me if it's in my book list. I can also put it on a bookshelf, which is sort of similar, but has some differences to it. So I've added a few things to my book list, and if I go to up here and click on book list. It will open up my account. It will give me a list of the list that I have. I can add notes. I can share this list. So I can copy and share my list if I want to share it with friends or family to let them know what I'm interested in. You can edit your book list. And when you're editing your book list, you can see that you can control your privacy factor here. So if you want this just to be for you, your eyes only, you can select private. Or if you want to share it with other people, you can share it with. Or if you want it to be public and anybody who is Part of Chili Pack will be able to see what is on the book list. In Bookshelf, we'll take a look at Bookshelf and see the difference. Bookshelf, you can have three different bookshelves. You can have books that you want to read later. So these might be things that you put on your bookshelf for later. And I'll show you to do some maintenance in here because I have things on here that I've been doing with demonstrations. I can remove anything from the shelf. If I have something on my to be read or for later bookshelf and I'm currently reading it, I can move it to my in progress bookshelf. 
And if I go to in progress, I have something I've just completed Hillbilly Elegy for our book club that's coming up. I can change that from in progress to completed. So this is a great way if you want to keep track of the books that you have read, or if you're in the process of reading a series of books, you can have the series in your for later bookshelf, and then as you read them, move them into the in progress and then completed bookshelves. That way you can keep track of what you've read and what you need to read yet. Okay, and let me go back. Okay, so if you do want to follow me through Chili Pack to see what books I recommend for a particular month, we usually have displays of books that go along with different things that the month is known for. So like the, with, during the holidays, I might have book set, books and DVDs that you might be interested in checking out during the holidays. Or like this in January, having books that might interest you that are dealing with New Year's resolutions. Or I think it's Kid Inventor Month. I might go through and find some books about inventors that I'd be able to share with you. And if you're interested in following along to see what I do recommend during the month, you can search for me from our, our main catalog page. Go to Search Users. And as I said, my username on here is Ms. Beth SCL. And we'll search the Spark Libraries. And there's only one Ms. Beth SCL in here. It says Scranton, USA. That is not correct. That's why I made sure I had the Somerset County Library logo here so you can recognize that this is me. And you would just open up that. Oops, it won't let me do it because it is me. But um, let me show you with one of these users here. So it'll open up my profile and then you can just click on follow. And then whenever I add anything to the list, when you log in, let me go back here. When you log in, you will get notifications down at the bottom of your account. So under what's new, then you would get, so this library that I put into follow added book lists and it show, it's showing me what book lists they added and when they added them. So if you want to follow me there, you can do so and try to keep up with that and make sure that I put information in there that you would be interested in. Okay, so that is that is everything with Chili Pack, so let's move on. Next thing I want to show you in our catalog that is brand new is Novelist Plus and Novelist K through 8. Now the Novelist K through 8 is specifically for kids, so you want to limit what your children are exposed to. You can send them to Novelist K through 8 and have them explore there. And actually, let's take a quick look at Novelist K through 8. So you can search by age group, so T 
teens, ages 9 through 12, or ages 0 through 8. And browse by genre. This is for teens, and if I change that to teens age group, and you can search by different things. Which are the type of story, classics. have the if you like so if you like dog man or rick royardon wonder diary of a wimpy kid will give you suggestions of other books that you can try reading it gives you a suggested grade level <clears throat> and this is recommended for kids in grades three through six. So if you like Diary of a Wimpy Kid, you can try Middle School Bites, Lori Branigan, Detective, Awesome Dog 5000, and Weirdo. Also do an advanced search. And in the advanced search, if you are looking for books that are part of the Accelerated Reader, if you're looking for a specific Lexile range, you can do so. And a lot of schools use either Accelerated Reader or the SRC. Book challenges with their kids. So you can select your level that you want to read at. Record and books. And here are some other books that you might be interested in. So these are record and books that are in that reading level. And it will even give you the AR points for that book. Now say you've read all the record and books and you want to read some read-alikes. You can do the title read-alikes, author read-alikes, or series read-alikes. Let's check out series read-alikes and see what we find. You might want to try Valkyrie by Kate O'Hearn, or Secrets of Valhalla by Jasmine Richards, or Percy Jackson and the Olympians 
by Robert Vendetti. Vendetti. And just a reminder that just because the books are showing up on Novelist does not necessarily mean that we have these books at our library. We'll be able to get them for you through an library loan or possibly through one of our sister libraries within our system. But this is just to give you an idea of things that you might be interested in reading. And if you are interested in reading one of any of these books, you can add it to a folder. And then here up at the top, click on this folder. And you can either email it or print out a copy of this list. And then you can go to the card catalog or bring it into the library and see if we have the books or ask us to request the books for you. Okay, so let's go back. And for the adults, we have Novelist Plus. The Novelist Plus covers pages zero through adult. So if you're an adult and you want to look for books for your kids, you can do that on Novelist Plus as well. So when you're looking through Novelist Plus, you can search by these descriptive phrases here, or you can create your own appeal mixer. So click on appeal mixer, and you can select different categories. You can select the character and the type of character that you're interested in. So if you want diverse abilities, awkward, brooding, complex, courageous, culturally diverse, and you can scroll down through those and see what sort of different categories. So you want a sassy character. Um, let's see, illustration, pace, storyline, tone, and writing style. So under illustration, we have okay, that looks like possibly looks like possibly, um, If it has illustrations. Pace, whether you want it fast paced, intensifying, or something leisurely. Storyline, if you want it to be action packed or character driven. Non linear, I think those are the ones that drive me nuts because it jumps from one plot to another. Tone would be musing, conservative, dramatic, explicit, and writing style. You can choose a type of writing style that you like. Um, Okay, so I choose a sassy character, and let me see, pace, no, I don't want pace, storyline, I'll do character driven storyline. And let's see. Writing style. 
descriptive. Okay. Okay, so there's a few. Very few. So you can sort of come up with your own category of what you might be interested in by trying the appeal mixer. You can browse by genres. So if you're an adult and you want to look at crime and suspense, fantasy, I know some adults like the fantasy books and most of those are in YA, but they're not really interested in a fantasy that has like a teen character. They want something that's more adult. So we can try fantasy, historical fiction. I enjoy a good historical fiction. Horror or and gothic. Yeah, that probably would keep me up all night. Mysteries, I like good mysteries too. Horror romance, science fiction, nonfiction even. So if there's a type of nonfiction that appeals to you, whether you like to read about World War II or the various political figures of the past or whatever it might be that you're interested in. You can search through here and see what is available. Arts and entertainment, history, memoirs and biographies, science and nature, political and global affairs, food and travel, so there's different ways that you can search for possible next reads. You can also search by keeping up. Have a favorite genre or one that intrigues you? Learn all about it here. So westerns, Lists that you'll love. Outlaws and Gunslingers, The Weirdest Wild West, Genre Essentials, Authors to Try. And of course you can do the advanced search. And search by text, title, author, if you know the ISBN publisher, the series, subject, narrow your search down by the publication year. Search by themes. If you want to search by author's nationality, gender, cultural identity, if there's a particular range in the Dewey system that you like to read, you can search just by that range. There are several different ways that you can browse. Um, ooh, quick links, books to movies, book display ideas. Ooh, fun. Grab and go book lists. So that is Novelist. And I hope you take some time to explore that, and maybe you'll find your next great read or a new favorite author. And just a reminder that just because the book is coming up in Novelist does not necessarily mean that the book is 
at our library. It could be something that we'll, we will be able to enter library loan for you or get from one of our um, sister libraries. But you'll have to get that recommendation and then search the catalog to see if that book is available at our location. But I hope you will take some time and explore and find your next great read. And until then, we'll see you next time. Good night.